There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. Stephen Hawking, astrophysicist and arguably one of the smartest people on the planet, warned us about the possibility of aliens from outer space. Hawking says that if extraterrestrials visit us, the outcome might be similar to when Columbus landed in America. In other words, it didn't turn out too well for Native Americans. What was that? Do you feel that? We mean no harm. Calling themselves the visitors. Dude, that is so cool. The world's in bad shape, Father. Who wouldn't welcome a savior right now? They healed me, and I got no pain. It's amazing. It's been three weeks since the visitors' arrival, yet thousands are still flocking to see the motherships in person. Welcome to the New York Mothership. My name is Lisa. We're all so quick to jump on the bandwagon. But before we get on, let us at least examine it. They've been printing fake docs, passports, IDs. They cleared out like they knew we were coming. But that's the danger. Gratitude can morph into worship. They say that you two are obsessed with the Vs. You know what, the Vs, they call it spreading hope. Do you have any questions before we go to air? Just be sure not to ask anything that would paint us in a negative light. Excuse me? We're honored and privileged to be able to assist mankind with our knowledge and technology. They've been implementing a plan that will result in the extermination of every man, woman, and child. If you could speak to the protesters, what would you say? That embracing change is never easy, but the reward for doing so can be far greater than anything you can imagine. They gain trust with the promise of friendship, and of course all they're really doing is positioning themselves as the saviors of mankind. They're arming themselves with the most powerful weapon out there. What's that? Devotion. What do we do now? We'll fight.
What was the name of this planet? Zalantar, I think. Have you ever seen a harvest? Oh, no. Never. But I've heard they feel no pain. It's all quite humane from what I've been told. Well, there are marshals and administrators to make sure everything is done according to code, but still, it can be rather affecting. Now you sound like mother. Most of them are miserable in their lives, and what we do for them is a mercy. According to Commonwealth records, this planet was seeded by a brass axe industries roughly 100,000 years ago. Human DNA spliced with indigenous species to evolve a fertile population. And that's where the Y gets ugly. Basically, the goal is to grow a population as large as possible. Once the population exceeds the planet's ability to sustain it, it's considered ripe for harvest. Harvest? What is that? It has many names. Regenex, Resal, Nectar. It comes from people. Each unit is refined from approximately a hundred human beings. What? Your planet is a farm. There are thousands of planets like yours set up by families like mine. Now the human being was on your planet, a merely a resource, waiting to be converted into capital. I want this facility running at capacity. I want full diagnostics and cost projections for an early harvest. Of course, my lord. What kind of grade are we getting from the skim? Excellent product, sire. Premium grade. It's a um, particularly robust stock. Assuming market stability, if we harvest later this century, profit margin should eclipse your nearest competitor.